thought our empire would fall. It won't. We will sleep here until the Reapers return to Dark Space. Then we will rise, a million strong. For the Empire. For the Empire. Get to your stasis port. Victory. Broadcast the stasis readiness signal to all life pods. And the refugees who have yet to reach the bunker. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. Got the signal. You understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. The Prothean cipher you received on Pharos, it lets you see the images as a Prothean would and understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video and the signal they used. Perfect. Then we just need to figure out how to physically open the pod. They were gunned down while having drinks and watching the game. This isn't a military stronghold, it's somebody's home. It appears that Cerberus cares little for civilian casualties. found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to figure out how to physically open the pod. This intel will give Eden Prime's resistance movement a real chance to push Cerberus out of their colony.
How many have we lost? Reaper forces have destroyed approximately 300,000 life bots. Alert! Northside bulkhead cannot be sealed. Hostiles detected. Then all forces to the north. You understood that one too? Yes. Excellent. Then we have everything we need to open the pod. Let's find another way across. Transmitting the signal. Perfect. It'll take a few moments for the life pod to process it. Cerberus has heavy forces incoming. We'll need to hold this position. second to catch our breath or set up preparations for the next wave has the life pod ended stasis mode it should not be much longer we should look for ways to hamper the enemy's approach i can lay down a singularity to block enemy access
life pod now. There, you've got it. It may take him some time to fully regain consciousness. Be careful, he's confused. Remember, it's been 50,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been... A few minutes! No, the bunker is falling. There is no other option. There are pods online! Those soldiers are still alive! Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. Preparing neutron bombardments. Get to your life pod now! Just you. <clears throat> you can understand me? Yes. Now that I have read your physiology, your nervous system, enough to understand your language. So you were reading me while I was seeing... Our last moments. Our failure. I saw what happened to your people. I know you must be grieving. But they died 50,000 years ago. My people are dying right now. Shepard, whatever you did got Cerberus interested. Asari. Human. Synthetic. This is not a good beginning. It's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. Correct, Admiral. But he's not quite what we expected. Commander, our scientists barely understand what they need to do here. If the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. Understood, Admiral. We're losing colonies faster than we can evacuate. We've never seen a force like the Reapers. He has, Admiral. Can he help us? I intend to find out. Good. Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. Shepard, I need you down in the port cargo hold. It's about our new guest. I'm on my way. What's the problem? I've tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. 
Apologies, Doctor. Contact protocol with a new species. Assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. But he's not new. I've spent my life studying Protheans. At ease. I don't think our guest will be a problem. Will he? That depends on you. I can sense fear in you. Anxiety and distress. The Reapers are winning. What do you mean, you sense? All life provides clues for those who can read them. It is in your cells, your DNA. Experience is a biological marker. Then what exactly did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both ways. Like your beacons? Yes. Which... You found one. You saw it all. Our destruction. Our warnings. Why won't they heed it? Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers, human? It's Commander. And nobody could understand your warnings. The beacon nearly killed me. <sighs> then communication is still primitive in this cycle. We pieced together what we could, and used it to stop a Reaper invasion three years ago. Then the extinction was delayed. Now we have your plans for the device. We're going to build it. Device? The weapon your people were working on. I'd hoped you could tell us how to finish it. We never finished it. It was too late. Then I take it you don't know anything about the Catalyst? No. I was a soldier, not a scientist. Skilled in one art. Killing. What was your mission? Among my people, there were avatars of many traits. Bravery, strength, cunning. A single exemplar for each. Which are you? The embodiment of vengeance. I am the anger of a dead people. Demanding blood be spilled for the blood we lost. Only when the last Reaper has been destroyed will my purpose be fulfilled. I have no other reason to exist. Those who share my purpose become allies. Those who do not become casualties. Nothing in our fight against the Reapers has been that cut and dried. Because you still have hope that this war will end with your honor intact. I do. Stand in the ashes of a trillion dead souls and ask the ghosts if honor matters. This silence is your answer. We found this at the dig site. I assume it belongs to you. It is a memory shard. Could it help us with the device? No. It contains only pain. But I will help you fight. And the last thing the Reapers hear before they die will be the last voice of the Protheans, sending them to their grave. If you don't mind, I have a few more questions I'd like to ask. Here it comes. I've written over a dozen studies on your species. I've published in several journals that... Amusing. Asari have finally mastered writing. I'm sorry? Never mind. What do you wish to know? Is there anything more you can tell us about this device your people were trying to build? We heard only stories. 
They said our scientists were constructing a great machine that had the power to defeat the Reapers. You never saw it? By that point, the Empire was smashed into pieces. None of us knew what the others were doing. Well, if we don't finish it soon, the same will be true of us. What can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. Several years ago, we found a Prothean VI that called itself Vigil on the planet Ilos. He was the caretaker of a research project. During my life, Ilos was only a rumor. It was said we had cities there, built on the ruins of a civilization before us, the Inusanon. If our scientists did have a research facility, whatever they were doing was secret. Yes, Vigil said they wiped all traces of themselves from the records so the Reapers couldn't find them. The scientists eventually went into cryogenic stasis. More of my people survived? No, but they did stop the Reapers from taking control of the Citadel in this cycle. It delayed their invasion. I never saw the Citadel. It was captured long before I was born. Why do you think your own cycle lost the war? What had been our strength, our empire, became a liability. All races conformed to one doctrine, one strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. The subservient races became divided and confused. Then, it was only a matter of time. I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique. Then it may be your only hope. How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system, planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. That must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated, converted then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. We've never seen a species with this sensory ability you have. It was common among my people, imparting experience through touch, the chemistry of life. Complicated ideas could be absorbed in seconds. That sounds very useful. We evolved as hunters. Reading a thousand details in our environment ensured our survival beginning to understand the beacons a bit more. Later, we developed technology to harness our ability. Information could be stored in certain objects through touch. Memory has its own biomarker, its own chemistry, as do knowledge and skills. The beacons could remember these things. Things like Reaper invasions. Yes, I can still sense the turmoil in you, witnessing the extinction of our empire. The fabric of your being was forever marked that day. So, could you read something about this room? There was liquid, a form of incubation. The DNA of a Krogan who lived here. He was powerful, prone to violence. I'm impressed. His name was Grunt. And if he were my enemy, I would have given him a wide berth. There is great strength in his genes. Liara here would never forgive me if I didn't ask you. What was Prothean civilization like? Yes, I've always wondered. What sort of government did you have, and can you tell me about your religious beliefs, or perhaps the... We are dead now. What does it matter? I'm sorry. Studying your history has been a lifelong passion of mine. When I was born, our empire was already at war with the Reapers. The first thing I remember was seeing my planet on fire. What was your civilization like before the Reaper attack? We were the dominant race of our cycle. We ruled the galaxy. My studies indicated you were the only race engaged in space travel at the time. I always found that curious. We were one empire composed of many subjects. All eventually called themselves Prothean. What if they didn't want to? They weren't given a choice. Are you saying you enslaved the other species? Any could oppose us if they wished, and if they had won, they would have ruled. Many tried, 
none succeeded. I had no idea Protheans were so... severe. It was by necessity. Very early we encountered the dangers posed by machine intelligence. They rebelled against us. We've had the same problem. They're called Geth. We could not allow the machines to surpass us. It was decided the only way to win was to unite all organic life within our empire. Did it work? For a time. The Metacon War. We were turning the tide. Until the Reapers arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us long ago, in ways we could never imagine. Back on Eden Prime, it looked like there were other stasis pods. What happened? The Empire had fallen, and we knew our cycle was lost. We were the final vanguard, the best soldiers left alive. So more of you were supposed to survive into this cycle? Yes. Under my leadership, a new Prothean Empire would have arisen. We would have commanded the races of your time to prepare for the next Reaper invasion. But traitors within our ranks, indoctrinated agents, betrayed us, and the Reapers discovered our plan. Just out of curiosity, how would you have commanded us? By leaving you no other option. You would have joined our army, or faced the Reapers alone. We've uncovered quite a few Prothean ruins. Were you observing our ancestors? Before the war, we cultivated species who showed potential. Eventually, you would have been offered a choice to join the Empire. But when the Reapers attacked, we ceased all study. We hoped they would see you as too primitive to harvest. Well, thank you, I think. Thank you for talking with me. I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. Oh? To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Salarians. The lizard people evolved. I believe they're amphibian. They used to eat flies. Commander, you may count on me. I am known as Javik. And welcome aboard the Normandy, Javik. So much has been lost. So much has changed. And yet the Reapers are still here. For me, it was only yesterday. Our empire spanned the galaxy. Now we are only a myth. I still have much to learn about this cycle. years that I can in no way talk about? Say, so, yeah, I've seen him. Just wondering. You know, in the old days, they didn't have automatic cameras. Reporters had to cake on the makeup. Do we need to talk, Commander? Not right now, Allers. Let me know when we do. a recording from Ferris Fields months ago. I lost a lot of friends that day. I lost my husband. I grieved, said goodbye, made my peace. You were talking with him when the collectors hit? I was organizing construction at a remote station a few clicks south of the main colony. Robert managed to get outside of the field the collectors put up. Instead of running, he called me. Sorry for your loss. He obviously cared a lot about you. He was afraid I wouldn't let go. But for him, I moved on. Or at least I thought I had. 
Then the invasion hits. There's no time. And the one thing I grab is this. I mean, what's the point of moving on with your life when everything is going to hell? Start thinking that way and we've already lost. Yeah, you're right, but... Well, to be honest... I never felt as alone as I do right now. We all die alone. In the end, you're defined by what you've done. Yeah, you're right. But don't worry, Commander. When I'm in that pilot seat, I'm there 100%. I won't fail you. It's just the downtime between missions that's hard, you know? You can handle it. Ma'am. I still can't believe it. A real live Prothean. <laughs> Doc must be over the moon. He could say that. I hear the guy's not all there, exactly. Damn, <laughs> I can't imagine. Brought forward 50,000 years, last of your kind. That's bound to screw with your mind. Yeah. Well, here's hoping he can help us with the Reapers. I'll bet the elusive man's boiling in his brandy right about now. Took that Prothean right out from under him. Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? Hey there. I'm glad to see we have Garrus back. I wanted to help with his scars. But I think he actually likes them. Commander. There is new information on the private messages terminal. A Prothean. A living, breathing Prothean right below me. He's not what I expected. Me neither. He was a little... cold when I tried to talk. I understand the shock of waking up again. His species gone. But a Prothean, Shepard. There's so much he could tell us. Hello again. I've seen a lot of crazy things in my time on the Normandy, Shepard. A talking Reaper, a talking plant, and now a real live talking Prothean. Hell of a thing, waking up to find everything you know is destroyed. But I imagine the chance to get some payback is consolation. Doubt you and I will ever get a second chance against the Reapers. What do you suppose the Prothean eats? What if it's boiled Asari with a side of fried Turian? I don't know about Liara, but I'm not taking that one for the team. If this war goes south, maybe we could freeze you for 50,000 years, Shepard. You could go from being merely famous to legendary. How's it going? Poor colonists on Eden Prime. First the Geth attack, now Cerberus. For what it's worth, our new crew member doesn't need a translator himself, but he shared a Prothean language tutorial program. It was apparently designed for servant races being inducted into the Empire. Charming cultural clue. Commander?
So a Prothean? A real live Prothean? Has Liara stopped bouncing yet? I'm guessing there may have been some bouncing. Commander? How's our new visitor adjusting to the ship, Edie? He appears not to understand the human custom of separate sex restroom facilities. I am attempting to enlighten him. I will update you if there is positive progress. Um, how about you just update me if he doesn't get the message? Very well. Hello, Shepard. There's the folks who answered the distress call. Cerberus Cruiser. At least a dozen fighters on blockade duty. Not too many for us in a straight-up fight. They must want this place bad. Receiving incoming transmission. Let's hear it. SSB Normandy. This is Kaylee Sanders, director of Grissom Academy. We need immediate assistance. Cerberus is attacking the facility. They're after my students. This is Commander Shepard. We're blocked on a direct approach. I know. They've taken control of our docking base. Any alternatives? There's an auxiliary cargo port I could probably open. All right. We'll come in by shuttle and get your students out of there. Joker, can you give me a diversion? Oh, boy, can I? Keep the shuttle in position. We'll be back. <laughs> 